Okay, well, welcome back again. Um, I haven't glued down my carpet yet, so I'm going to go ahead. I really need to get this uh, water heater put in. So I kind of wanted to show you what I'm what I'm up against. Is, uh, it's this little area back here. Of course, there's my water heater. And um, so my problem is going to be this connect... the. The black one going into the wall, that's my shower. And the garden hose going up to this one is my uh, water. So as, as everybody knows, I took out my filter system that was right here because it stunk. And now I just go off a 21 gallon tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, uh, heater out and disconnect those and see what I need to uh, get my new one put in. Okay, so I got my uh, old one out and um, this is the new one. And it, um, <laughs> it's so Chinese that it doesn't even have a name. So uh, I read some reviews on it and it said it was okay. So we'll see. Um, I, I went to Lowe's or Home Depot twice to try to get fittings for this and um, I want to say not to bash anybody but the customer service at this Home Depot here in Naples just really sucked I said hey I need this well we don't have them so no alternatives or nothing so what I found out was once I took out my old one all the all the old fittings fit so uh, so I'm good to go. Uh, I'll go ahead and hook this up and hopefully we'll have hot water. Okay, so I got the water hooked up. I have the uh, shower head hooked up and it says water heater has not started if there is no dynamic icon on the display. Hmm. Please check whether the water flow passes through. Oh, let me turn on my... Um, I don't know. Turned on. There we go. 23C. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to have to <laughs> figure it out. Okay, so uh, what I figured out is the directions suck. There, there isn't any way to change the temperature. So... Um, it says if you slow the water down going in, the temperature goes up. If you speed it up, it goes down. <laughs> so what a bunch of crap. Um, okay, it didn't say that. You know, any all the reviews I read, one said it didn't heat up. And it's not. It's at 28 degrees Celsius. And 28 degrees Celsius is a little above cold. So um, I think... I think, um, well, I know z zero Celsius is 32, <laughs> but, and a hundred's boiling. So, um, I don't know what 28 is. I, I tried to check, but, uh, I unplugged my internet so I could, um, hook this up. Anyway, um, I'm going to research it a little bit online and, um, if I can't come up with anything, I'm gonna have to send it back. So, uh, stay tuned. Welcome back. So I got it figured out and what I was, I adjusted my water flow with my shower head. And if I, I turn it on right here, it still comes out pretty good. And um, come over here to the heater itself. Turn it on. And you can see right now it's already at 32 because I've ran it. And then if I turn this on, it shows that it's heating, water's coming out, and, well, it's going down, but it will go up. There we go. Now it's going up, um, and it gets up to about 43 or whatever, so that's pretty cool. So the only, the only thing I don't like about it is that it takes a while to get up that hot, um, and with 21 gallons, that, you know, uses quite a bit of water, I guess. So when you're uh, scrimping and saving water, 
anyway, so uh, that that does it. It it works. I've showered in it already, and um, it works really well. So sometimes it gets a little too hot, so I just have to adjust the the flow of my shower head. So so I hope everybody has a happy new year. And if you like enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and hit that bell.